Welcome to Pattaya City. Are you ready to party? Is this place just about the nightlife and the lies? Or is there some truth to this place? Let's check it out. So I would recommend you eat before you get here, but we're right at lunch. Uh, it seems very touristy, but it's supposed to be really beautiful inside. Here you go, you get it. We're gonna get a little shot of this. And this is still under continuous construction from what I understand, it's taking a long time to build. So it seems there's like time frames every 20, 30 minutes. They have tours in certain languages, mainly English, and you can go in other languages at certain times, the main languages of the world. Uh, and people are waiting around I think to go inside in groups. There's no food and drink allowed inside just to let you know and The tickets cost 500 baht which depend on your currency is anywhere from 13 to 18 dollars So Okay, if you pay online you get a little cheaper But we found it was hard to verify once we got here our confirmation and QR code, but here nor there, we wait around a half hour, we saved 150 baht, which is about five to seven dollars if you book online uh, the morning of or the day before, okay? And if you're wondering, everybody has to wear a hard hat because they consider this a um, live construction site or work zone, so it is what it is. Safety first, right? They have different groups that have um, leaders that narrate in different key languages. You don't have to, you'll have to wait until your language comes up, like English, I think Thai, some other languages, but you don't have to wait, we found out. You can just walk through and just casually walk through and follow one of the groups until you get outside. main sanctuary of the truth uh, back over here is the wood working shop and they're continuously finishing this and adding things with a lot of skilled workers inside and it's totally made out of wood for the most part and this is in Batea or Pattaya whatever way you want to say it North Pattaya Beach area and Thailand. Uh, Ramanayan statue and he traveled around through his uh, life through Thailand and he was known for his humanitarian work and he was uh, a very beloved individual from what I understand.
And you see right here, they're still working on this. It's an ongoing uh, project to this day. And what's really neat, if you're a tourist, they have um, places where you can ride elephants all over Thailand. They had um, this elephant there, and it was uh, pretty cool people riding in. They also, I think, um, had horses, too, you could ride and rent. 